Hi guys, so today I'm doing another um, makeup tag. I wanted to do the 10 products that I would repurchase if all my makeup was stolen tag. I thought this was a really interesting tag um, and fun to do because I get to show you guys some of my holy grail products. Um, so the first product that I would definitely choose um, is my OPI Nail Envy. I love this product and I have talked about it in my previous video about how I grow and take care of my natural nails. Um, I feel like if you have really brittle, weak nails, this is definitely something that will help um, to strengthen your nails in the long run. And I use this all the time as a base coat for all my manicures. Um, I don't really see how I could live without this when I'm doing manicures now. This is quite pricey. This is probably about 10 to about uh, $12 for it, but it's highly worth your money and I highly recommend it. Um, the next product is an eyeliner, and it is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Liner in Black. I just feel like this is a really good eyeliner for tight lining. Um, it lasts for a very long time, and it is really, really dark. Um, if you want more of an intense look, this is definitely a eyeliner pencil that I recommend. This is $20 at Sephora. Um, the next product is... Um, a liquid liner that I've mentioned before in my previous videos, and it's the NYC Liquid Liner. I feel like this is a really dark, intense liner. Um, it's, it lasts for a really long time without smudging, and it has, um, again, just a really small brush that I think is really good for precision and if you want a really nice thin line. This is only $3.99 at a local drugstore, so highly recommend this product if you want to try out a liquid eyeliner. Um, the next product is definitely one of my holy grail products, and it is the Dior Show Mascara. This is the original formula. I love this mascara. Um, if I had to lose all my mascaras and if I was going on a trip and I only had room to bring one, this would definitely be the only one that I would bring with me on my trip um, or the only one that I would repurchase. It's got a really big, um, voluminous kind of classic brush. It's a pretty dark formula and this formula here I love because it's just the right amount of dryness and wetness. It's more on the dry side. It holds your curls, it elongates your lashes, and it makes a lot of volume if you just use like two, three coats. I love this mascara. It is quite pricey. Um, it's anywhere from about 27 to about 32 so, but I think it's well worth your money, especially if you're just going to invest in one higher-end mascara. This would definitely be the one that I would recommend. Um, the next product is something that has been raved and raved about, um, but it's definitely something that I use every single day, and I would highly, highly recommend it, and that is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Now, this is the original Naked Palette. I recommend this one because I feel like a lot of the colors in here are very wearable. You can wear it every day. Um, this can take you from light natural shades to like a dark smokier look for the nighttime. I feel like this is definitely something that I've actually traveled with um, just by itself and it's worked out for me. I've done long trips and short trips with this and I think if you just have space for one pro eye product, eyeshadow product, this would definitely be it. Um, this is $60 at my local Sephora, um, but I think it's well worth it because you get 14 shades and I've had this for over a year and um, I'm barely like halfway through most of the shades, so highly recommend this. Um, also, the dark black shade here can also act as an eyeliner, so it's kind of an all-in-one product for me. Um, the next product I would repurchase would be e.l.f. Studio blushes. I feel like these are really highly pigmented, comes in a nice package, and they're only $3 and very accessible if you have a local Target or you can purchase these online from eyeslipface.com. Um, one of my favorite shades is this one here that I just discovered, and it's called Twinkle Pink. It's this really pretty kind of peachy pink color with gold shimmery undertones. It does look really, really shimmery in the pan, but when you actually put it on your face, um, on your cheeks, and just kind of blend it out, it's really not sparkly. I have it on my face today, so I think it's just a really pretty color, and I would highly recommend these blushes. Um, the next product is a lip product, and it is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. This is one of their um, original lines, and this is in one of my favorite nude colors, and it's Prem Rose. Just this really gorgeous pinky nude color. I feel like nudes are quite hard to find for me because I'm such um, a pale-skinned. 
Um, nudes are really hard to find for me at the drugstore. They're always a little bit too dark or they're too brown or a lot of uh, some of the nudes make is like a concealer color. It makes you look dead. So I feel like this is a really good line. It's really moisturizing. It lasts for a long time and you do have to reapply it once you eat and drink. But I just feel like um, this product here you can get for $6. It's a good product for the price. Um, next product are actually tools. So the next one is um, brushes from e.l.f. These are my favorite brushes from e.l.f. and I would highly recommend these um, if you are starting up your makeup collection for brushes and or if you already have a lot of brushes, these ones are well for the investment. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is the eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. This brush here is just a um, larger fluffy eyeshadow brush for just picking up eyeshadow and putting it all over your lids. Um, this is only a dollar and I feel like this is a really good brush. When you wash it, um, I've had this for like well over two, three years. Um, once you wash it and stuff, it does not shed, it does not um, lose its shape or anything like that and it's really, really soft for what it is. For, so for a dollar, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, the next two are from their uh, professional studio line. This first one that I highly recommend is their powder brush. It's just a flat top kabuki. I use this to put on my translucent powder all over my face. Um, you can also use this for liquid foundation. You can use this for even like blush or just putting powder on. It's so much, it has so many um, ways of using it. So I highly recommend this. It's really, really soft and it's only three dollars. Um, the next one is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. Um, this has been raved about too um, by a lot of people here on YouTube. I use this to put on my blush. I feel like it's just the right amount of like thinness and uh, thickness for just to give color to your face on your cheeks. Um, this is great for blending. Um, you can even use this to put on powders. You can use this wet. You can use this to put on foundation. These are two really multi-purpose brushes and they're both only three dollars. I've washed these many, many times. They don't shed. They still be, uh, retain their softness and they're um, the only downside about these is I feel like if you are going to invest in these, I would buy more than one um, just because they, when you wash them, they don't dry overnight because they're so dense. Um, it usually takes about a day and a half for them to dry completely and you should always let your brushes dry completely before you use them. Um, I just feel like you might need a backup for these um, when you use them and wash them. Um, the next tool is Tweezerman tweezers. Um, these tweezers have basically changed my life um, when it comes to tweezing my eyebrows. I used to just buy like ones from the drugstore or whatnot and I always felt like the tips weren't sharp enough to pick up like the little hairs. The Tweezerman tweezers, they have absolutely no problem whatsoever to pick up any kind of hairs. Long ones, short ones, thick ones, ones that are just little stubs. This sucker picks up everything. Um, it's got, it's stainless steel and it is um, kind of self-sharpening. You can actually send it in for free to get it sharpened. I've never done that and I don't really see why I need to do that yet because they have not dulled. Um, I've had this for about two years and it's still perfect. Um, mine actually comes with this little uh, case here. I got this at Nordstrom Rack and I believe I paid about $18 for it so it is quite pricey. At my local drugstore I've seen this for about $20 to $25 but it's well worth your money and I highly uh, recommend investing in one of these because once you buy a Tweezerman tweezer you really don't need to buy anything else. Um, it comes in two kinds. There's ones with the slant which is the one that I have here. I like these ones um, much better because I don't, I don't need it to be so precise. There's also ones with the really sharp pointy head. I find that to be a little bit dangerous, especially when you're going kind of fast. Um, but those ones will help even more for plucking out um, the little short nubs. Um, the last product that I would repurchase would definitely be my Shumura eyelash curler. This is my holy grail eyelash curler. Ever since I started using this, which was about at least three years ago, I have never used another eyelash curler. And I feel like this eyelash curler is absolutely perfect. I have very straight, uh, short Asian lashes and they're quite stubborn for curling. This curls like there's no tomorrow. It's absolutely perfect. It's got a really wide top so it gets all your lashes in kind of one little pump. Um, but you, you know, you do want to pump them a little bit more to get that perfect curl. 
Um, I highly recommend this stainless steel. This is supposed to last for a year, but I feel like even though I use this every single day, it'll last me at least a year and a half. Um, basically, you can use it until the silicone breaks. This is quite pricey again. It ranges anywhere from about $28 to about $30. I know you can get it for $18 at Sephora down in the States, but in Canada, it's a little bit more pricey. Um, this eyelash curler here, it is silicone based, so it's really good for just curling lashes and keeping the curl all day long. Even if you don't wear mascara, you can just curl your lashes to give yourself a more wo a woken up look. And it just looks really, really nice and definitely lasts you all day. So I highly recommend this. Um, so those are all the products that I would repurchase if my makeup were to be all lost or stolen, knock on wood here. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you guys um, want to do this tag, um, I welcome anyone to do it um, that wants to. You guys can definitely leave this as a video response for this video. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!